It's October 4th, 2012. Come on, guys. Well, what's dominating the news on this date in history? Presidential debate. It's all over the Internet. It's the buzz everywhere. It probably will be for several days to come. I didn't bother to watch it, but I'll weigh in on it. Just because I already know. See, it doesn't matter. And this is a response to Dimcad's video, by the way. Probably the best Dimcad video I've ever watched. Awesome work. This will be a response to that. I'll link it below. It doesn't matter who was in the White House. Obamni, Rama. Some of the forums I hang out on, I see people over there commenting about how awesome Romney did. He, oh, he did a great job. Why he even, he even used the word constitution. He's the man. I can't believe America falls for this again. How's that hope and change working out for you? Why do you think it is Barack Obama broke nearly every promise he made? You think Romney's not going to do the same thing? The President of the United States, no matter who they are, they're not in control of anything. This whole country, this has all been hijacked. When's America going to realize this? That person is put there to look good for the camera and read the script. If you need proof of that, just go look at Obama's promises and how many he kept. I'll put a great link below, a lecture by Naomi Wolf. It's called The End of America. I want you to listen to her tell you how the same steps that were put in place in Nazi Germany are in place right now in America. And if you think Obama and Romney don't work for the same people, keep this in mind. No tyrannical government in history has ever willingly given up power. And if you think we're not living under a tyrannical government, I want you to go to your search box, whatever you use, Bing, Yahoo, Google, YouTube, AOL, whatever it is, doesn't matter because it's all over the place. Type in four letters, NDAA. Watch what comes up. How do you feel about the fact that our government now legally has power to come into your house, take you away, lock you up somewhere, with no judge, no jury, no access to a lawyer, they can legally make any American citizen disappear forever. You think I'm lying? Google NDAA. You can read it right on the government's own websites. If our government somehow feels that you are a potential terrorist, they can take you away. Look what happened in the case of Brandon Rubb. I'll put a link to that below. You know. Whatever happened to FBI Special Agent Stephen Ivins? You see, I won't forget that name. It's my belief. It's my opinion. He was a good guy, getting ready to spill some beans. Oh, but the official story is he ran into the woods and shot himself. That's just a normal thing FBI agents do, I guess. Yeah, go back in history and look at how many times that's happened. None. I could be wrong. It's just my opinion. Look at the case of Charles Dyer, also known as July 4 Patriot on YouTube. Put a link to his channel. He pled his case on his YouTube channel just in case what happened happened. How many times did the courts try that man before they finally got a guilty? It's my opinion, will always be my opinion, Charles Dyer is innocent. That's what I'm going to say. How do you feel about 30,000 drones going in the skies over America? Department of Homeland Security spy drones. Because they need to keep America safe. How does that quote go? Those who would give up essential liberty to purchase a t little temporary safety deserve neither liberty nor safety. And how's the other quote go? The tree of liberty must be refreshed from time to time with the blood of patriots and tyrants. Thomas Jefferson. No, I'm not calling for violence. I'm not calling for any of that. I'm simply asking you to wake up I'll put another link below. 
the most excellent anti-New World Order documentary I've ever watched. It's called Wake Up Call. Covers all the bases. Two and a half hours long. You want to go down the rabbit hole, you want to know what's really going on in America, watch that documentary. And don't just watch it. Take notes. If you question anything that documentary is talking about, take notes. Take lots of notes. Do like a lot of us did when we were waking up. Go back and research every freaking topic that you question. Research it all. Then you will know the reality of the situation. Wake up. Because the future generations, 50, 100 years from now, because people didn't open their eyes and do something, I think it's quite possible we could see people walking into ovens. Doesn't matter who's in the White House, they serve the same masters. Research the New World Order and share your research with your friends and family. It's crucial that you wake up now because every day more of your liberties are taken away. You know why they want to take guns away from Americans? It has nothing to do with crime. It's so you can't fight back. Research it.